Well, the challenge is tough, and it seems like they'll beat us. Need to come back. Hey, come back, go. When life gives you lemons, turn them into margaritas. I need to come back. Hey, come back, go. When I live, gotta walk. It's time for the bed dog. Hey, come back, coach. Thank you, 17th Avenue All-Stars. All right. As she walked gracefully toward the lighted stage that was her destination, I sat there wondering, what is former First Lady Laura Bush going to say to more than 19,000 gathered for a Get Motivated seminar? She stood behind a podium and, unlike the other speakers, read from prepared notes. She talked about the criticism of her husband's presidency, calling that criticism the sacred music of democracy. She also talked about September 11, 2001, and her sadness over lives lost and fear running rampant. The former first lady also talked about White House employees. Upon learning their place of work was an intended target, removing their high-heeled shoes and running for their lives away from our nation's most revered building. Back in the spotlight of a special event, she seemed relieved it was an exception to the relative quiet of the Bush's retirement years in Texas. At the end of her presentation, our former first lady told a final story about her husband. October 2001 at Yankee Stadium in New York, the Yankees hosted a World Series game against the Arizona Diamondbacks. President Bush was throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. Security was intense as the nation's 43rd chief executive took some time before the game under the aging stands to loosen his arm. As the president was warming up, Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter walked by. President Bush asked the future Hall of Famer if he should throw from the mound or from just in front of it. Be a man, joked the shortstop. Throw it from the mound, but don't bounce it up there. The crowd will boo you. Bush took Jeter's advice and, according to his wife, threw a decent pitch that didn't bounce. Laura Bush's message was this. Sometimes in life you may feel like you're all alone with many watching you. It's then that you have to reach back and go for it and see what happens. It's what the comeback coach talks about all the time in encouraging others to put fear and self-doubt aside and allow wonderment to win. It's not always easy, sometimes can be frightening, but the rewards are often so worth the effort. This week, have the courage in healthy and productive ways to climb atop your own hill, stand tall, reach back, and fire away. The setting probably won't be as dramatic as Yankee Stadium. That doesn't matter. What matters is what happens to you in attempting to become superior to your former self. As we head toward a new year, remember, the constant pursuit of improvement will always make you a winner. There's a couple of reasons I'd love for you to visit my website. First, if you're part of a company, organization, or group that maybe would like to have a pep talk dealing with challenges, contact me. I'd love to speak to you. Second, if you go to the website and order my latest book, Lemons and the Margaritas, I'm going to send you a free copy of my first book, Kids Teach the Darndest Things. Make sure when you order to mention you heard this offer on Colorado & Company. All this and more on my website at heycomebackcoach.com.